Hi, I'm Stan, and I'd like to talk to you about properly adjusting your rearview mirrors so that you can avoid dangerous blind spots when you're driving. Now you may think, what's the big deal? I know how to adjust my mirrors. I've been doing it for a long time. I learned how to do it way back in driver's ed, and I can see good out of my mirrors. So what have I got to learn from this video? Well, that's exactly what I would have said before I read this article in Car and Driver magazine about a paper that was published by the SAE, the Society of Automotive Engineers. And in that paper, the SAE explained that the way most of us adjust our mirrors leaves big blind spots behind our cars. These blind spots are big enough to hide an entire car in them. So if your mirrors aren't adjusted correctly, you could make a move into the lane next to you and hit a car that's there that you didn't see or cause them to run off the road. After reading that article, I realized I had been adjusting my mirrors the wrong way. So let's look first at how I and probably most of you have been adjusting our mirrors, and then we'll look at how the SAE recommends that we change that. So most people adjust their mirrors like this, sitting in the driver's seat, the right side mirror is basically adjusted so you can just see the edge of your car. The center mirror is usually adjusted correctly, it's straight back from the driver's point of view to include the whole rear window. And most people adjust the left side mirror the same way as the right side where they bring it in until it shows just the left side of their car straight back. And so even though most of us probably adjust our mirrors that way, according to the SAE, that's not the correct way, or at least that's not the safest way. Adjusting them that way creates big blind spots to the left and right rear of your vehicle. The SAE says that you should be pointing your mirrors further out into the lanes beside you, away from the side of your car. Using their setup, as a vehicle is passing you, you see it in your center mirror. As it leaves your center mirror, it shows up in your left side mirror, and then you see it in your peripheral vision out to the side. This gives you a more panoramic view of what's going on behind and beside your vehicle. Now I'm going to show you how they recommend you adjust your mirrors for greater driving safety. And right now I have my left side mirror adjusted so that it points straight back and shows a little bit of the side of my car. But since that's wrong, we're going to change that. What they tell you to do first is put your head up against the left side window. With your head up against the window, adjust your mirror out so you can just see the left side of your car. And then adjust your center mirror the way you've probably been doing it already anyway. With your center mirror, make sure you can see the whole rear window, or at least as much as possible. And then adjust your right side mirror. To do that, position yourself so you're basically in the center of your car, or over the console if there is one, but more or less straight out from your center mirror as much as possible. With your head positioned over the center of your vehicle, adjust your mirror out so you can just see the side of your car. Using these mirror settings, you never really lose sight of a car that's passing you. The panoramic view it gives you eliminates those dangerous blind spots. And this can go a long way towards eliminating accidents, injuries, and fatalities. When you're going down the road, it can mean the difference between seeing this in the other lane or seeing this. And that's a big difference in safety. So I'm going to take these mirrors out on the road and see how they work in traffic. When you implement these mirror settings, you're creating a safer driving environment for yourself, your passengers, and everyone around you. And that's a big plus. I made these changes to my mirror system in my cars, and it was weird at first, but now I really like it. Even with the new mirror setup, I'm still a big proponent of looking quickly over your left shoulder before you make a lane change. This is especially important if there might be a motorcycle that's passing you. With any mirror setup, motorcycles are harder to see than a car is, so a quick look over your shoulder could help eliminate a possible accident. I put a link in the video description below to the article in the Car and Driver magazine that I referred to. It gives a little more information about the SAE report, 
and it's got a good graphic there too that can be helpful. Thanks for watching this video. Have a great day and drive safely. Bye.